Hello YouTube, I am Kaden, and I have a special video for you guys. YouTube user Scott King left a comment in one of my videos saying that he wants to create some YouTube content for Minecraft, and he was wondering what setup I use to get it done. So I'm going to use this video to explain all the things that I use, because trust me, with the stuff that I've got, if I can make YouTube happen, so can you. So I can go ahead and pull up my computer specs for you here. I am running in Acer Nitro 5. It's got a 15 inch screen. It's only got a 2.1 gigahertz Ryzen 5 processor. Not a lot of power in the processor department, but the on-die GFX is actually pretty decent. I found that it powered through all the games that I tried without too many hiccups. And to be honest, the trailer you're watching right now makes this laptop out to be a little bit better than it actually is. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely laptop, but it definitely does not deliver on everything this trailer is promising. Take that with a grain of salt. For audio, I actually use my phone. Now we've all got a phone. I happen to have gotten a great deal from my provider for a Galaxy S10e, and I was trying to use the webcam features on the PC. They were awful. The microphone was awful, the camera's awful. So I had to come up with another solution, and my first video, I actually recorded it on my phone. And the audio was actually really good. I position it about six to eight inches from where I'm sitting. I elevate it slightly on top of a shoebox, and uh, just point the microphone towards me, and it actually picks up really, really well, as you can hear. For my screen capture software, I actually use a licensed version of Bandicam. And here it is running right now, actually. Shows you all kinds of stuff, videos you've already recorded, how much space you have left on your hard drive, and how much you've currently used. Other things, it allows you to incorporate webcam footage as an overlay. It has chroma key options, so you can have the cool chroma green screen behind you, and it'll just put your outline down here in the corner. This does everything. I bought this so many years ago, I'm afraid I don't remember how much it cost. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna look it up for this video, hang on. Yes, here you go. You can buy it from bandicam.com, and this edition is $39 for one PC. I'm not sure if I paid that much back when I bought it, but it's $39 now. Now this profile, actually, the one that you see from my tutorial videos, I created specifically for tutorial videos. This is not the profile that I use to game on or to do other productivity or even edit the videos on. I made this one specifically to present something clean and serviceable and to the point, something non-specific to me because the video is not about me, the video is about getting the project done and showing you guys how to do it. YouTube's studio actually has an audio library. Free music, free sound effects, the vast majority of them don't require you to put any kind of disclaimer or giving credit to the people who made it but the YouTube audio library is incredible. Now it can take a little while to drill down through the categories to find exactly what you're looking for, but I usually do and I think it works out. And lastly, my editing software, that I certainly cannot afford, so I actually use DaVinci Resolve, which is fantastic. DaVinci Resolve has lots of the pro features enabled for free, only a couple of times, usually diving into the effects and some of the more granular audio editing, have I run into the paywall where they say, no, you can't go any further with this because you need to pay for the pro version of the software. But everything you have seen has been on DaVinci Resolve. And that is how I make my videos on a mid-tier laptop. My audio is through my Samsung Galaxy and uh, our favorite game, Minecraft. And speaking of which, I think it's about time for me to get back into the game. So once again, I am Kaden. You guys have fun playing.